No what car award category is more fiercely contested than family SUV, but the Skoda Karoq has seen off all its rivals this year. That means it's not only beaten a host of other new cars that went on sale this year, but also the reigning champion, the Seat Ateca, and the car that kicked off this class that made it so popular in the first place, the Nissan Qashqai. Well, the Karoq is closely related to the Seat Ateca, the car that actually won this price point last year, but the Skoda is more relaxed in its nature, so it's more comfortable along bumpy roads, for example but it still handles more than well enough for a family SUV. The body control is very good around corners. The steering is, is quite light, but it's actually really accurate. The entry level one litre petrol engine is, is really well priced, but unless you only plan to potter around town, we, we would recommend upgrading to the 1.5 litre petrol. It's quite a bit gutsier, um, it's better suited when you've got four people and a boot full of luggage, um, and it's smoother and quieter as well. By our very definition, the Skoda Karoq is a family SUV, and therefore, funnily enough, it needs to be able to take a family easily. Well, happily, four adults will sit inside in complete comfort, let alone two children in the back. And behind them, the boot is big enough to take a couple of large pushchairs or three to four large suitcases. And when compared with things like, say, a Teca, which is basically the same car underneath, it really does feel like Skoda has stepped up the quality and comfort, particularly in the build quality of the interior and some of the softer, denser plastics used.